Hey everybody, today we're going to be making what's called a mandala, at least I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, mandala is a Sanskrit word meaning circle. And they're basically made up of uh, different lines, organic shapes, geometric shapes, and it's all about symmetry and relaxation. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks on how you can make your own mandala from home. So all you're really going to need is any old piece of paper. It looks the best if you have a square paper. I did not have a square paper, so I'm going to show you how to make one. So regular old rectangle piece of paper. And if you fold it so that the corner lines up with the side of the paper here, so it makes like a little sailboat, all you have to do is cut off this extra bit at the bottom, and you'll have yourself a lovely square and some people like to measure it so that it's equal distance but I just folded mine so I already had this one from where I cut it so I also did it the other way and then I did it this way and that way so when I unfold it I've kind of got this snowflake folding arrangement going on here and this is going to help me even out my shapes and lines so that it's symmetrical all the way around. Now, a lot of people tend to use rulers for this. I think I'm just going to wing it because in the interest of relaxation and design, I'm just going to see what happens. And if it's not perfectly even, I'm not going to worry about it. So you shouldn't either. All right. So I'm going to try and make some shapes here. And whatever I make in one place, I've got to mimic and copy and make them similar in the other places too. So for example, if I make sort of a little mini football place here on this line, I need to make it symmetrical by putting it on the other side as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna try and make it as even as possible in the interest of symmetry. And that's what I got so far. I think I'm going to do that on all of them because I like that shape. And I think I'm going to make smaller ones here and here. See what happens. So it kind of looks like a little mini flower. This sort of reminds me of Zentangle designs where you just kind of see where the lines and shapes take you. You see that? All right, let's see what else can we add here. Well, let's do something a little bigger. Let's do, I'm going to go from the points here. Lumpity point. Oh, that's going to be hard to do. Okay. Lumpity point. Okay. So if I did it on one side, I also need to do it on the other side. In the interest of symmetry. Lumpity point. Lumpity point. You'll notice these are not the same, not perfectly even, but not worry about it. it kind of looks like a mustache right now. <laughs> Let's add some more on here. Lumpity point. Lumpity point. And since I did it over here, I also need to do it on this side. Lumpity point and lumpity point. And I'm just going to continue adding things all the way around until I've got the mandala that I want it to be. So, let's see here. Some are more complex than others. Some are super simplified. Some people just draw a circle and make their symmetry within that, and that's okay too. But this is my mandala, so I'm gonna do it how I want. All right, you could even take it further and add designs within it. So I've added some more details. You'll notice once again, they are not perfectly even, but they're about as close as I could do just eyeballing it. And one of the biggest aspects of a mandala is their radial symmetry. So whatever you put on one side, you need to make sure you mimic as close to the same on the side directly across from it. So for example, if I were to color this one purple, although it looks kind of pinky on the yellow paper, then I need to be sure that I do the same thing on the side directly opposite of it. Okay? And I'm going to do that for all of those because I think it looks prettier that way. Okay. 
there you have it. So obviously I'm not done, but I'm going to color it. Hey, so that's not bad. It's somewhat circular. It's somewhat symmetrical, and I had fun doing it. So I encourage you to make your own radial symmetry mandala.